it like we are here okay um hello uh, no one's here yet so i'm just going to start and since uh hopefully this will be on my channel i will just introduce everything i think someone's here already so hello uh i'm decided to do a live stream this week since i was not able to do a video and so this week we have a little live stream to just have some fun painting a little bit of of course mermaid just because it's mermaid and i enjoy doing mermaids so we're just going to do a small drawing here in watercolor and hopefully chat a little bit i'm just preparing the materials here i can show you my huge amount of brushes and i'm just choosing my favorites out of the pile which are the ones that i know i'm going to be using more I haven't used this one in a while. I might try and use it. Um, let me know if everything is okay. I'm going to put a little bit of music here, just so we have um, something. Um, This quickly setting up here. Hopefully this will do it. It's just a lo-fi. If you can even hear it. Okay. Feel free to type anything on the chat. And if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, I have you on my mic. So today we're going to be drawing, like I said, a mermaid, a mermaid in May. Let me know if the lighting is okay. If you need more light, let me know. And so today we're going to be using the Mygello Mission Gold watercolors. I did a poll on my Instagram asking if you guys preferred watercolor, brush, ink, or anything else. So I went with, you guys decided for watercolor. It's been a while since I used these guys, since a lot of stuff got in the way, so to speak. So it has been a while, which makes me even more excited to use them. I'm, a, I'm already all dirty and messy of <laughs> watercolor. Uh, and so, Let's start. I do feel it's quite dark. So let me try and light up the room a little bit more. That didn't do anything. Um, I don't have a lot more lights. Let me try something here quickly. Okay. Hopefully this will help a bit more. Hopefully, yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, I think you can see better. You will see this mirrored. So hopefully I did a drawing well enough that it won't suck mirrored. So starting with a little quill brush. I have your jar of water. And we can just get along and just get started. It has been a while since I did this. <laughs> it has. Let me just try and mix something here. Okay. I did, I left extra space here on the page to test my mixtures. It's way too pink, way too pink. I also have some napkins here. I reuse these, so they're already dirty. <laughs> but I reuse these all the time. Um, okay, so it does need some brownish tint. It was just way too pink. Might be too brown now. <laughs> Maybe? Not bad, not bad, but I do want it a bit pinkish more. Yeah, that's it. 
Okay. So we're just, just going to be putting this down. It's going to be very chill drawing since it's just, just for me to kind of test the live stream bit of in YouTube. I really wanted to do live streams on Twitch, but my computer actually cannot keep up with it, especially Streamlabs. It just dies on me every single time. And it's just not good. But I do wish, oh, I completely missed the highlight notes. I do wish I was able to do them. They seem so fun. Even for example, when I was trying to set up this live stream, I tried to do a setup that I tried to do for uh, Twitch with the double cameras and stuff. And yeah, my, <laughs> Uh, my thingy, my computer was just not going with it at all. Okay, let me quickly type something here in the chat just to say hello. Hello, welcome to the live stream. I do have some topics I can talk about that some of you mentioned to me on Instagram. If we run out. If anyone joins up, I may be talking just here by myself for an hour or how long this will be. Now, for the tail, I think the last drawing that I did, the mermaid had a greenish tail. I might kind of want to try and do something, something a bit more golden. Why not? I don't really do that much. And I have this mixture here. So I could just kind of do that, even mix it with the skin tone. Yeah, why not? It's like a golden mermaid. Why not? I do have my heat gun near me to speed up the process. It's a bit loud, so I didn't really want to use it. But especially watercolor, if I'm just waiting for it to dry, we'll never leave this. And this drawing will never be done within how long this live stream would be. I would not want it to make it that long. I would like it to be relatively okay. <laughs> not too, too long. Watchable, that's kind of what I was aiming for. Didn't want it to be crazy long. Yeah, and this is just for fun, so I don't really mind that it's going a bit all over the place. The watercolor. Okay. I see we have four people now. Hello. <laughs> if anyone wants to say anything on the chat or ask any questions, I'm super okay with it. <laughs> Hello, Sergio. Thank you. Um, but yeah, if you, if anyone has any questions, I'm super okay with answering or if it, there's any topics you'd like to talk about. I did ask on Instagram, so I do have those as a backup uh, in case of the conversation not being quite as flowy or me just quite not knowing what to talk about. Okay, so we have the skin and the tail, hair colors now. Let's just do pink. <laughs> and, or maybe like a purplish pink, like this color that I have here then. So it's all warm tones. This needs more warm though. It's been so long that I used my watercolors that they even had mold on them. That's how long it's been, my poor babies. These watercolors specifically, I was a bit busy with testing out some products, doing the review for the brush pens and some other things. Also doing a review for the uh, Winter Newton ones. So my dear, dear, uh, my Jello Mission Gold 
have been a bit ignored, unfortunately, but that's about to change because I have missed them very much. And so hopefully these will be back more to my channel. Next week, I do have planned uh, finally the video about how I make my prints. Fortunately, since I wasn't able to do a video this week, uh, that will be probably when I was supposed to post it. So thank you for being patient and for not hating me for not doing it yet. But it's in the making already. I started filming it yesterday uh, since I wasn't home, basically. And so when I arrived, I started not quite filming it, but planning everything. And hopefully this week I'll have everything done and ready for you guys. It's a very popular video, at least in terms of your demand. You guys really want to see how I make my prints. It's quite simple, but I guess it can be a bit intimidating at first to someone that doesn't know. But I really enjoy the process. Okay, so base color is done. I'm going to use my heat gun quickly. So this is my heat gun. Um, I think it's, it doesn't really have a brand. It's called UIT Hobby. I got this at a local craft store a few years ago. And honestly, I cannot live without it now. I just really love it. So hopefully this is not too, too loud. Uh, hopefully not. So I'll try to be as quick as possible. Okay, this will do. <laughs> we still have a little bit wet here, but it's totally fine. The paper is starting to buckle already. This paper is not super thick. Uh, let me see how much it is. It's, where are you? 280, I much prefer at least more 20 grams, but this paper was out and I have a lot of it. So I really need to use it up. Okay, we have the bases. So now we're going to take, take on the more, sorry, I, I have the hiccups. <laughs> um, <clears throat> sorry, I got something on my throat. I need to drink some water. Okay. So we're taking now the shadows. Mm. And I usually like to do the shadows more bluish toned, especially since this is a warm. I might try and do a purpley, but still heavily pinkish. Let's just try and do all, all warm tones. Why not? I don't really do that. And it's nice to have a good balance between both, but it's always fun. So yeah, I'm okay with this color. Um, so yeah, shadow here on the neck. Um, in the meanwhile, let me quickly, after this is done, and while this, because I don't think I'll need heat gun for the shadows, I'll go look at suggestions of topics. I think one of those, out of the top of my head, was obsessions I had. My obsessions, yeah, Alice, Alice Real on Instagram, dear friend of mine, uh, asked about my obsessions. And I'm not usually 
one to have that many obsessions, I think. It depends. I tend to enjoy things. It's quite rare for me to be obsessed. It doesn't look great in the mirror. <laughs> Darn it. Um, hopefully it'll look better in the end. It doesn't look amazing mirrored now that I'm looking at it. Eh, it's going there somewhere. Uh, so yeah, she asked about my obsessions and I don't really have that many. I do get obsessed sometimes with shows. And at the moment, I definitely got really obsessed with My Hero Academia. <laughs> I just finished reading the manga and I just keep reading fanfic and stuff like that. I'm really obsessed with the whole characters and their interaction. I really enjoy it. And even the show itself, I really like it. Okay, let me just do shadow here. I kind of went straight for the hair. <laughs> Not sure why. I don't really have a... Um, how do you say a process for what goes first in watercolor? I'm just gonna do something. <laughs> so much trauma. Yep. Go read the manga, my dude. Then you'll be up to speed to everything, not just knowing random spoilers. <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing I'm kind of obsessed with. I think you're all, I'm the only one here, Sergi, by the way, right now. But this will be up on my channel, so gotta keep up the conversation. <laughs> um, anything you want to know, Sergio? <laughs> Since you're here and you have the privilege of being basically the only one. <laughs> um, oh boy, I messed up here. She has to have a chin. <laughs> kind of messed up. <laughs> Bragging rights all for you, my man. You're the only one here, so <laughs> get all the bragging rights. Okay, here more. Eh, I'm a mess today in terms of lines. Gosh. Um, other than that, let me think obsessions, obsessions. I don't even know. I'm really not one to obsess over stuff. Whenever someone asks me that, I'm really confused. <laughs> Hopefully. I mean, I can carry a conversation on my own. But <laughs> not for so long, I guess. It does help to have someone to help carry the conversation. So I just don't feel like I'm talking on my own, <laughs> basically. Okay, let me do the dots of her eyebrows so it's not weird. <laughs> it looks even weirder there on the camera. <laughs> you are carrying everything. You are just doing the whole carry. You are basically the whole um, the whole thing of this operation, my man. <laughs> oh boy, I need to give you a cut of my earnings, basically. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Uh, what else did I have on my topics? Let me quickly check. Because I just don't really remember what topics I had. And it's messing with me. Let me quickly check. I had something. I had some questions, I believe. Or topics. Here we go. So... We had, oh, I can't see them now. Oh no, I can't see them. Why? I used to be able to see them. Oh no. 
Ah, darn it. Then I didn't wrote them down. <laughs> I think something like inspiration and consistency, that was one of them. Um, I'm here and at the same time watching another live of Apex and I'm doing the WordPress thingy in the HD brain. My dude, how? How can you even do that? When I have to sketch something, I can barely just listen, look at other things. I have to, if I'm sketching, I have to either just be listening stuff or podcasts because if I have to look at something else, I won't do anything. How can you even do that? Mad respect. Mad respect to you, indeed. Okay. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the live and that I'm actually here. If that's something you find interesting, I would love, love, love to try and do lives on Twitch, but my computer at the moment hates like just like anything that's due to Streamlabs or OBS, just cannot deal with it. So maybe that's for the future. I would love to try and stream games. Uh, I don't really talk about games that much, but I love gaming, but I suck a lot. So I think I would be those type of people that will get a bit of hate from gaming. I don't know, but it works apparently, but the consistency thing is really interesting. <laughs> um, you're quite consistent though, I think. But I guess it depends. I have I found myself that planning stuff really helps. At least to me, doing lists and stuff really helps. Or in terms of consistency, if it's lacking is motivation. That, I think, to me, depends on the pressure that I put on myself. I think I was worse when I put way too much pressure. I still do put a lot of pressure on myself. I'm not the best at being kind to me, to myself. I do sometimes think, oh, if I don't post this, people will forget about me or stuff like that and it's not true it's not true because I know that I follow some people that don't post sometimes because life exists and I don't forget about them I remember about them and I'm eager that they post and I'm happy that they care about themselves when they are resting so I know or at least my brain should know that that's not the case when I don't post because of any reason. Still, it's quite hard not to get your head stuck in that mindset of if I don't post, I don't exist. It's a quite tricky one to avoid because it's just, it's how we are living now. We don't really exist outside of outside of our posts. <laughs> but that's not how it should be. Because it's a lot of pressure, especially for creative types. It's so much pressure. Oh, this paper is not going with me today. <laughs> I'm kind of consistent on my page and it's second nature at this point. But with art and expression, it's really troublesome. Oof, yeah, <laughs> it is. Um, I'm okay, kind of, at this point, but, for example, I don't draw every day. And I don't really think I could. Um, just because I also think I need some rest sometimes. I don't think I'd be able to draw every day. But I try my best to make time to draw, especially since it's basically the assets of my channel and my Instagram. If I don't draw, I don't really have anything to post, basically. And it's also really important for me to try and not make it that much. Um, what I mean to say, it's important for me to try and find time to draw things for me, not just for posting, which honestly, it's not happening that much lately. Most of the times I do a drawing is for posting or for something else. 
It has been a while since I did something just for me. This kind of counts, I guess, since I don't even think I'll post this. This is just a fun time. So I guess this could count as just me time drawing, but it's me time plus you time, which it's always fun. I do enjoy doing lives. I usually do them on Instagram, though. This is the first one I'm doing here, but Fun to try, why not? Uh, I don't know how well this is looking. <laughs> it's not looking great, to be honest. It's very messy, very messy. Uh, let me try and put here pink on the shadow and carve out the hand because it's looking a bit iffy. This paper's not agreeing with me. Everything for the content, yup. <laughs> Yep, yep. <laughs> but it's hard, man. It's hard to separate things. Uh, it's like when I... When I was doing uni for art, I barely drew for my own, for my own sake. I only drew for classes and for stuff like that. It was very rare for me to... Sorry, creaky chair. <laughs> it's very rare for me to draw for myself at that time. Or at least my own style, because what I did was studies or stuff like that. And finding time to actually draw what I wanted was not really happening. <laughs> Obrigada, Paulo. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I wish I had Zoom in this thing, but I don't really have Zoom. I mean, I have the Zoom of putting you guys closer because <laughs> I want to work on the face okay so well, sorry I'm just trying to fix you guys I want to work on the face okay ah. all right still mirrored but <laughs> it's getting there Okay, I think we can start working on the face. This whole thing is drying. I'm gonna hit it with a heat gun just for a, for a second so I don't spoil everything with my hand. looking fishy. Sergio, are you hitting dad jokes to me? <laughs> That's my job, man. I do the dad jokes. That's me. All right. Um, I'm going to stop working on the face because I have to define this. This is looking a mess. And so we're going to mix a purple-ish tone deeper than what we have here. Because this is looking nice, but I need some deeper tones. So I think I'm going to use some pants gray that I have here. Yes, this is the tone that I wanted, I think. Mm, yeah, I guess. I do need to mix a bit more of it. Ah, I missed mixing with these watercolors. They are so nice. And I love them so much. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it's all right. I really like having just a side face here. Let me try this focus on the face here. This sort of has an autofocus, this camera thingy. Because this is a webcam. <laughs> My camera doesn't really like to connect to a computer, so this is the best that I could get. Okay. Let me do here the eyelashes. See if this starts looking like something. Not just a mess, which is where this was. Okay, she's going to be looking that way. <laughs> and black eyes or sort of this color eyes. I used to do so much more details in the eyes. 
when I started drawing and then I just started doing less and less <laughs> as the time went on. I think it's because I was, when I started drawing, I was a bit more influenced by anime and manga and I did so much more with the eyes because that's the style. And then I just started doing my own thing and I much enjoyed doing it this way. Yeah, this is mirrored and I don't like it. I have to fix it. It's not horrible, but it's not great. It's, mm, something ain't right. I need to sharpen some things here or there. It's not horrible, but could be better. It's going somewhere. Wait, it is? What, looking? Or oh, mirrored? Yeah, it is mirrored. Yeah, it's mirrored. <laughs> I'm seeing it mirrored there for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's from the webcam. It's mirroring it. I need to explore it a bit more since my computer doesn't really allow the OBS. I haven't really been able to explore it that well. I really, I really need to get a PC or something that allows me to use more stuff. Darn this. No, it's my, I'm right-handed. This is my right hand, <laughs> Mac energy. Uh, yeah, I'm right-handed. I wish I was ambidextrous. I think that's how you say it in English. I wish I would be the coolest kid ever if I were ambidextrous. Because that's just so cool. Okay, breathing and doing hands. Okay. This is the most improvised hand of all time. And it kind of works. Kind of. Ish. Okay, I'm gonna do some scales or um not scales. Fins? No. Gills. Gills. Vocabulary. Why do you fail me? Okay. Okay. Mm Where do I else do I want some gills? I think I want some on her face. Just like here. Boop, boop. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that. Reinforce here the eyelashes. And doing some on the bottom here. Boop, boop. Okay. It's coming along. It's coming along. It's not horrible. Let me do some color here on her chest so I'm not flagged by YouTube. No nakedness here. No, no. Everyone is very clothed. Yes, yes. Uh, do I like this color? I don't. Let me try and mix it a little bit with the yellow. Ooh, that's yucky. It's not that yucky. I'll go with it. <laughs> I'll just try and do something, just so I'm not flagged <laughs> for nudity, because that is no fun. It's just something, like she's rolling in the dirt. Yes, family friendly. We're very Christian channel here, yes. We love clothes and how they look on people. No to nakedness. Okay. Yes, she's no longer naked. Okay, we can use this color to shadow here her fan. I don't know how long to make this video, honestly. Because my videos are usually 20-ish minutes on a good day. Uh, and this drawing is not... I don't think it's going to take me that long. It's quite a quick one. Ugh, noise. 
quite a quick one since it's a mermaid. <laughs> and I've been doing mermaids for this month just for fun. I'm not doing a mermaid tag or anything like that because I don't have the time nor the patience. I did it last year. The What's the name of it? The color thingy. Pantone. I did the Pantone one. And even though I liked it, ooh, it broke me. It really broke me and I don't want to do it again. But I do enjoy dra drawing mermaids in May and especially everything, every other every other time. So I like doing it. Okay, this paper, I like it at the same time I don't love it. Like it spreads really nicely. But at the same time, it's weird. I don't know. It's a bit weird. What else? What else do I need to do? I think I need to deepen the hair. Deepen here some of the little cracks and thingies. So it has more depth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me know later if this is something you want me to do more because i could make this part of my schedule i guess like i don't know every other month i could do a live i don't think people would like me to do it once a month maybe maybe like for example three month three videos and then a live per month i think I think I'm a wonder Tina has that sketch that sort of schedule. And it's really nice if you are busy. Because at least one video you don't have to do pre-done content. Okay, Sergio Cruz. <laughs> um because you can just do it in the moment and it's fine. It's just one hour's work instead of a video is like maybe five hours work or more depending on the video in my case it usually around that i i still take a bit to edit everything i'm getting faster it used to be a week's <laughs> worth of work when i was editing I'm much faster now i'm counting uh, filming time of course in those five hours as well okay I'm, I'm enjoying the colors, I am. It's not that bad. It's like a warmish mermaid. I think she might be my last mermaid of May. I think I need a break of mermaids for now. I don't know what I'll draw because that always happens in May. I start drawing mermaids and then when it's over, I'm like, what did I used to draw again? <laughs> Because it's just so easy to just whip up a mermaid because they don't have a bottom body. <laughs> you just need to worry about one part of a body and then the rest is just like a giant worm. Or I mean giant tail because it's just a tube with a fin in the end. It's not too difficult to do. Okay. And here I was saying I couldn't carry the conversation on my own. Just look at me. I'm going wild here. I guess that's something YouTube and Instagram teaches you is talking to yourself. And how it's okay. <laughs> okay, it's, I don't love this bit. But it's fine, it's fine. I do have a project I really want to do. I got some like beads. Uh, no, not not beads, like nail art stuff. I really want to try and just do some canvases and stuff with it. Because I think it would look cute. I do have a shop update to do soon. Truly an adult. Uh, me? About talking to myself? I was a bit distracted now. I was going on autopilot, which is not great when you're doing live. 
I should be careful with what I say, or at least know what I'm saying. <laughs> Hello, how are you, Dootsie? Cutie, patootie. <laughs> That's an adorable name. I like it. Okay. All right. I think her top have sort of done-ish. just need to work on her tail. She's not going to take too long. I think this is going to be a quick doodle. Sorry, I need the water break. I am going to do tattoos on her because, of course, I like doing those. So let's just do some... Oh, with this color, it kind of looks like henna. And I just put my hand on here. Great job there. <laughs> just some flowers here. I like my I like to do my tattoos quite simple. I just like vegetation and flowers and stuff. I quite enjoy the stripe thingies. I do need to study more tattoos. Something I want to improve alongside with anatomy and all that stuff that I don't know and that I need to improve. But I guess all most artists say that they need to improve anatomy. Oh, sorry, I'm shaking the table because I'm trying to get comfortable. Okay, and in this arm, she'll have more stripes. I like them. Okay, we're reaching 40 minutes already. Wow. That's fast. I think I can keep this around an hour. Which is cool. Around an hour. It's nice. It's not too bad. Just do a little shadow here and there. So these mix together. Yeah, I think an hour sort is okay for this. Um, mm -hmm, okay, our tattoos are fine. I do wanna, <laughs> sorry, hiccups. I'm a bit nervous and I get them sometimes when I'm nervous. <laughs> mm, gosh. Okay, um, I would like some tattoo on our hands. Watch. I want to do something too obvious like an anchor so I think I'm just gonna do circle oh my god you're selling tam tats my bank account is going to suffer <laughs> I'm not selling them yet they are a part of my patreon right now um, but I do want to though do like a sticker sheet sort of but with temp tats, I just need to find a better paper that's more suitable. That one's not amazing yet. That's why it's a freebie for my Patreons. It's something that I'm still testing and they get first dibs on the stuff that I'm testing because they're cute and stuff. <laughs> my baby Patreons. Okay. This looks very neon. Kind of, kind of, it's kind of neon. <laughs> I need to tone it down. It's very bright. More water. Need more water. Come here. What's uh, using uh, for the temporary tattoos or now? Hi. Oh, thank you, Anta girl. An art girl. I'm sorry, I said your name so weirdly. I butcher names in lives. That, uh, I shouldn't be allowed to do um, lives because I just really mess up people's name. <laughs> oh, for temp tabs. Uh, I'm using a paper that I found on a Spanish website. It's cool, but I think there are probably better papers that I would like to try. Just because. I need to... Um, I think I know someone that does them like professionally that sells them i need to see <laughs> thank you um an art girl but i really don't like m just saying names wrong in this stuff but i just end up it's always i always do them <laughs> i always say the names wrong on instagram it's even worse 
Oh, thank you. Um, I quite enjoy keeping them simple. <laughs> On Instagram, like I was saying, it's much worse since there are more people coming in and out. And uh, like I see when people come in and out. So I tend to say hello most of the times. And most of the times I just don't do well <laughs> in saying names. It's really bad. <laughs> I guess I think I get dyslexic with the um, stress. Oh, you got a bell. Oh, thank you, Doug. Oh, I do have some water here. Thank you for reminding me. And thank you for stopping by. You're very sweet. I always appreciate your comments a lot. You're super sweet. Thank you so much for stopping by. Okay. I actually don't know if the chat will appear on the live stream. I need to check that after when it's in my channel i actually need to check that <laughs> okay i think honestly this is almost done <laughs> i'm just doing some stuff here with the tail i don't think i'll take too long it was a quick one Especially because I think I'm going to go rollerblading after. Because <laughs> my brother invited me and I am still trying to learn. I really want to try and learn properly how to learn rollerblade. Yeah, when you're watching it, you can toggle it on and off. Nice. Thank you. Oh, but um, when it's uploaded then, that's I think that's my bigger question. Like, I'm going to upload this on my channel, and I don't know if, for example, on Instagram, if you save a live as an IGTV, your chat doesn't appear afterwards. And I think that's what I'm not sure if it will happen or not. She's looking very goldfishy. <laughs> She's very brownish, goldish, fishy. I don't know if it's good or bad. I don't hate it, maybe. I am going to add some sort of fence here, which might make my case even worse. But let's go. Maybe, I have to check it. Thank you. I have to check it. This is my first time actually touching this <laughs> in terms of doing the lives. I have to check that. But yeah, for first experience, I think it's going okay. <laughs> Nothing fra failed or crashed yet, knocking on wood. Hoping, hoping that it doesn't happen. I did the scales here differently and I don't know how I feel about them. I think I'm just going to connect them. Try and make them a bit more similar. I dipped my hand in here again. Stop. Why must I do this and be like this? Yeah, I sing a lot. Yet. <laughs> um, yeah, I sing a lot. That's something that probably has, hasn't come through on the videos. I sing, talk to myself a lot. Especially if I'm doing dumb stuff. <laughs> Okay, I think I only need to do her tail and we're pretty much done. So, oh boy, that's that's not a good color. That's what? That's a weird color. Should we use it? It's kind of red. I don't think it goes. I'll keep it here though because it's a cool color. I don't think it goes. <laughs> Let me try on this side. I keep trying to reach for the opera rose. That's the opera rose, and I forget how bright it is. And then, yeah, I, I mean, that's kind of red too. I'm just mixing reds. Why? I want oranges. Darn it. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay, let's go. Mm hmm. <laughs> Don't dip your hand in there. That would be very bad. I would cry. 
No, not really, but I would be sad. Okay. Doing little lines here. I enjoy this look well while doing fins. I did this on my last drawing as well on the fins, and I think they turned out cool. Especially with the gradient. Actually, if you saw my last video about the brush pens, I mentioned I would like to get my hands on the pastel set. And guess what I did? <laughs> the pastel set is on the way. I don't I'm not sure if I'll do a video about it since I basically did a review. But I'll definitely do a video using them, which is a bit different. Um, because I'm curious, I quite enjoy the tip of the acoline markers. So I'm curious to see how it behaves with more soft pastel -y colors. I'm enjoying it. Even though I don't need more supplies, I already have more supplies than a person can need. I think I need to do an updated version of my supplies ink collection because especially my ink collection has grown since I'm working with Ferris Wheel Press now I have a whole drawer uh, filled with their stuff but they're pretty <laughs> I wish I was able to display them but I don't have the room unfortunately okay I think she's kind of done Let's use just a little sparkles here or there. Why not? And I quite like that she came out almost goldfish. Quite like that. It was by mistake, but it's cute. Here, here, and here. These watercolors are just so dreamy to work with. They're so my favorite. The Magello Mission Gold. I'm so happy I got these. But I have left my Sennelier ones untouched for a while. And that's a bit sad. They're good watercolors as well. But these are so creamy and so saturated. <laughs> but I definitely need to go back to it. That's a horrible sparkle. <laughs> Gosh, that is horrible. <laughs> that is not good. Oh, well, okay. Um, I think it just needs some white of the eyes for that. Thank you. So for that, I use my Artistro. Here you can see it's mirrored. <laughs> my Artistro paint pens. And these guys have been my saviors i really like these i really chunky sparkles yeah that's what these are and i really 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 like these okay so sparkle here sparkle there a little shine on the nose and she's looking much more alive now the hair came out really simple this time i wasn't really feeling crazy hair just one color here with a few values. I think it turned out cute in the end. Yeah, and we're almost reaching an hour. Yes. <laughs> that is perfect. Uh, okay. Hopefully, people that will watch this later will like it. We'll see. If this goes well, I might do this once in a while. Because it is fun. I enjoy making this on YouTube, Instagram at least. Okay, I'm going to quickly dry it so I'm able to do some sparkles on the tail.
Okay, yeah. Yeah, one hour, easy. It was actually pretty chill, actually. You helped a lot. <laughs> you being here helped a lot. Okay, I'm just doing some lines here. Yeah, I quite like how this color dried out. Okay. And this here, I don't know if you guys can see it, it really came out a bit neon, which is kind of cool, I dig it. I will definitely keep this mixture here. It's separating in a crazy way. It's like neon red, <laughs> which is cool. Okay, some scales here or there, just so it's more fun. Okay, separating the tail here. Yeah, paint pens are just the best. Cyberpunk goldfish next. Yes. <laughs> I quite enjoy doing this little dot here as well. The paint pen is not working. I mean, it's the paper, I think. Yeah, I quite enjoy doing this little dot thing. It's like makeup. Doing like that. Highlights on our nails. Yeah, that was pretty nice. Pretty cool. I think, yeah, it's important to just do these doodles once in a while. Like, I don't think I'll post this on my page unless I'm just <laughs> running out of stuff to post, maybe. I mean, it's good to have backup stuff, that's for sure. But it was fun. I like doing these drawings for fun for me. Even though it's a mermaid and some of you are probably tired of seeing mermaids. <laughs> I enjoy them and they're cute. <laughs> so unfortunately, you're going to be you're going to have to keep seeing them. Because they are super cute. Okay. Right. I think we're done. <laughs> I think. Yeah. I would consider this done. Let me try and show you here. Ta da! <laughs> With kind of two minutes to spare for an hour. My little mermaid childhood vibes. Yes! <laughs> She does look like Ariel with her colors a bit changed, but yes, I do enjoy doing this hair for mermaids. Um, I hope you had fun. I did the drawing, the sketch before because I didn't want to have that pressure of sketching while on stream, but just the watercolor took less than an hour. <clears throat> Sorry, I need to drink water which is not bad for the little doodle, especially in watercolor. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to quickly, <laughs> we're just going to quickly talk a little bit, maybe, to make this into an hour, so it's a nicer time, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I can show you my palette in the meantime. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. Yeah, I wanted to see if I could show you this color. How crazy it's drying. This one as well. I used some soap opera, which is a bright neon pink. And it's separating. Really cool here. Little doodle, little doodle goddamn art piece. <laughs> Thank you, my man. But yeah, this side is pretty much what we used for this palette. I don't think, I kind of used this bit for something. And this is all dirty and these are my stickers that I have on my palette it's really cute I got this one from Jackson's I think maybe but yeah I really enjoy these watercolors and I hope you guys had as much fun as I did will this focus here I would like this to focus on 
the art piece. It kind of did. <laughs> colors. Yes, you know with me, uh, you can count on colors. Okay, we hit an hour. <laughs> I was sneaky of me, but yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop the live stream now. Thank you so much for being here and for keeping me company for this little hour. If you guys were here and enjoyed it, uh, I think you can comment on the live stream afterwards. So let me know in the comments if you liked it or if you watched it all. <laughs> and yeah, thank you so much for being awesome, for keeping me company in this little channel. It's so small, but I enjoy it a lot, doing colors. Thank you so much for being here, Sergio. You're the best. Okay, guys. I'll see you in my next video next Tuesday, hopefully with the video on how to make prints based on traditional art. So I'll see you then. Bye, guys. See you. Bye-bye. <laughs>